Hi everybody and welcome back to the shopping district. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've been here and uh, I haven't actually checked my shops in a while so uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is quickly start and uh, I just want to quickly check all the shops. So I'll see you in a second. <laughs> That's not bad we actually made about a stack and a half of diamonds some extra diamonds so that's pretty good well i did see i got some stocking up to do i see there by the gold and the iron shop and oh the coral shop as well but uh we'll do that for another time um you guys probably know what a greenhouse is right you know a little like a glass looking house that you grow plants in but have you ever seen a bee house except for a beehive well i'm gonna build a bee house and uh we finished off the sheep wool farm so uh let's jump into that and see what it looks like I just remember last time we bought up this wool farm, but I still had to put in all the sheep, and that was a lot of sheep. So finally, I managed to get that done, and oh, what a mission that was! But our wool farm is fully up and running. I just added some color you can see in front of each of the sections for just to show which color the sheep is you can see there well let me head into the camera account here we go up over here and there you can see so we've got all the colors and 16 sheep for each color and it is working fantastic and we can have a look at our bee health 
And you can see, oh, I nearly jumped into the lava. That wouldn't have been very nice. And you can see all the wool coming in. Going to our little sorting system. And we've already got a couple of shulker boxes of each color and then some. And I've emptied out some of it already. But this is working fantastic. And of course we've got our honey farm and our little bee honeycomb rule things over here. That's all starting to build up nicely. Obviously I've used some of it for to finish off our storage. And here is our bee house. Now I was gonna you know how would I say uh, block the bees in in the little sections that can't move around. I said I decided now what I'm gonna let them just fly around because it adds a little bit more life. So let's go inside here. Yeah? I still gotta finish off this section over here. Let's go in. There's a lot of bees. A lot of bees. If I have to hit or kill one of these guys now, I'm gonna be in big trouble. Well, now usually you cut the section off, you build the bees, they only fly in front of the beehive. So I thought, now I don't want to let these guys fly free and they can do what they want. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got actually enough bees to fall the beehives yet, but I've been breeding them up and uh, the farm is working great. So as you can see, there's a lot of bees. Let's quickly have a little better look. Here we go. That is a lot of bees and some of them are pretty weird they doing break dancing inside of the hoppers apparently they like that very much as you can see so that is very cool now okay well let's let them do their thing there's a lot of buzzing in my ears at the moment Now, something else. I'm not much of a PvP player. You know? Some people are good at it, some not. I've never actually, I would say, practiced in some way. And some people on the server are, uh, I would say, pretty good at it. So I decided to make a new game. So we can have a little bit of extra fun on the server. And that is... A gladiator PvP arena. So uh, we got some building to do and let's jump into it.
Gladiator Arena. I tried some different things and different ideas for building. So let's quickly have a look over here. A good little pathway going down to the main entrance. Okay. Two fighters go in and only one comes out. So here's our main entrance. A little bit of extra decoration. Little, some skulls floating around. So basically you can set your spawn can store your stuff in a barrel so you pick your bed you can put your name up or put a sign over here to show that it's yours so there's definitely enough space for everybody to uh, set their spawn location now the surprising part of this no weapons no armor no food so when you come through here you have to leave everything in your little uh, barrel over there because you start with none of these things that you usually would have. So I'll put up some instructions here for the guys to have a look at when they come in. Now, here's the fun part. You see all these buttons on the walls and you've got these little gaps over here. Now, there is a few of these which are secret buttons to release weapons or armor or food or whatever the case may be but you never know where it's going to come out or the person you're fighting might even collect it before you do so you have to be fast so you're going to have to try and press one of these buttons to get the advantage to maybe get an item that will help you win the fight Sounds a bit scary in a way. So anywhere here, we've got an item that can pop out of the ground. You've got to push a button. Any one of these. I think there's like actually a few of them. And you could win the fight. Now something I actually want to do is try to arrange maybe a little tournament. I know there are some people on the server that just like killing other people. I won't mention any names. But hopefully we can have a little tournament in the future. I've got to let everybody else know that everything has been set up here. And then uh, maybe we can have some footage of some good PvP matches in the future. Which I don't think I'll be taking part in. Though. I'm not very good at PvP. But anyway. That is it. This is actually the first time I've done something like this. I was going to make it a little bit bigger, but uh, then, uh, no. A little bit of less space, then nobody can run away. Well, guys, that is that, as they say. I know it's actually been a while since the last video, but busy, busy, busy. Well, thanks for joining me today, guys. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and enjoy your Minecraft. Cheers, guys.